take a whole bunch of measurements and samples from this one since this is one of our target fish on the Sentinel survey. So first we're going to measure it and this one is 46 centimeters. Put that right down on my data sheet. So we're going to weigh it. This one is two pounds. I'm going to take a photo of this. Um, which we call a morphometric photo. A researcher can look at the shape of its body. And so kind of like a combination of like the length and the width and how far different body parts are from each other. Um, and they've actually found that that can be different based on where the cod lives. The next thing that we need to do is figure out the sex and maturity of this fish. And this one is a female. You can tell right here, these two things are her ovaries. Um, but she's a juvenile, so she isn't actually um, developing eggs yet. So they're like very small and very pink. So she's a juvenile. Now we're going to take the stomach out. Here's the stomach. Probably something in there. This is 95% ethanol. So basically this will preserve that stomach um, until I'm ready to cut it open and analyze it. And a lot of times I have to use a microscope because they eat things like little shrimp and I try to identify them as much as I can. Um, but other things we find in the stomach, um, they eat a lot of crab, especially like Jonah crab, or we find lobster. Um, sometimes we'll find little sea stars. Uh, it's pretty cool to, to see what they eat and the larger they get the more likely they are to, to actually find little fish like whole fish in their stomachs so so we'll, we'll see <laughs> when, when I end up analyzing that one. Two other samples that we end up taking are otoliths which are ear bones within essentially the fish's head they're gonna come out of like right here so what I'm gonna do is actually just cut off the whole head um, and then later once the survey is over, um, when we're on land and in a lab, we'll extract those. But the really interesting thing about their otoliths is that we can actually figure out how old a fish is by looking at their otoliths. If you cut them, they have these rings, kind of like a tree, and you can count the rings and see how old they are. We'll also actually take a, a muscle tissue sample from like right here. It's yeah. kind of similar to looking at the stomachs and that, that it can tell awesome. you what they've been eating, but it tells you what they've been eating over a longer period of time. So the last sample that we take um, is one of these fin rays from their caudal fin, their tail fin. Kind of like, you know, how hair or spit or whatever from a human um, gets you DNA information. This is where um, we get a lot of the DNA from fish, is from um, these fin rays here. So I'm just gonna cut that one off. Um, this is also going in ethanol. We're really interested in, in where they're reproducing, so like where they're coming from. And we're not really sure where the, the fish in the Gulf of Maine, in the eastern Gulf of Maine are coming from because we don't really think that too many of them are spawning around here. But by looking at this DNA evidence, we can actually kind of tell where they're from. And if we were able to figure out that they are spawning in the eastern Gulf of Maine, that would be a huge deal. Um, and, and really good news for cod in this area because uh, we think that most of them spawn in like the southwestern portion of the Gulf of Maine. There's a lot of really awesome information that we get from taking all of these samples. <laughs> um, and these different samples go to a lot of different researchers all over New England. 